We all know that image journey can create some amazing images, but they are just static images. Today I'm going to show you this amazing tool with the help of which you can animate your images and convert them into 3D animations. For example, you can convert this tiny house into a beautiful animation or bring this portrait to life and make it to a nice video. So let's get started. So we are going to be using this website, Leapix Converter, and the website lets you convert your 2D images into beautiful 3D light field images. So basically they, you can create 3D animations by adding the depth information. One of the great features is that you can define your own depth map so that way you can control the animation the way you want. You need to have a, an account so just go ahead create an account. It's completely free to use and I'll put a link in the description. Let's first upload an image so come here click on this plus sign. Okay so I'm uploading an image. It instantly creates a depth map and then animate the image based on the uh, map that it created. So let's look at a few options. So the first one is animation length. So here you have different options. For example, uh, you can make it a very smaller one. So there's like two seconds. The maximum you can have is around six seconds. Uh, the next one is the animation style. So right now, it seems like it's just moving horizontally, left and right, but you can change it. For example, it will start moving in a word circle, right? or like a normal circle and you can try a tall circle and then there's a, this vertical option uh, up and down movements in this case since it's a portrait so i think this uh, vertical or tall circle will make more sense okay next one is the amount of motion so you can have like a less motion so that you can see that the, the, the animation barely moves now uh, regular or you can add a lot of motion and the last option on this page is the focus point so that's like close if you focus on to focus on the center or focus on the far so i think there's going to be a lot more movements now if you want to control the depth you can actually try the depth map so we'll talk about this in a second okay let's look at some other examples so for example um here i have a tiny home it's a tiny house in a glass mall probably a wide circle would be good now this one has a lot of uh, depth information from the start so you kind of see that this area is close to the lens that's why it's blurred out then uh, focus in, is on the house right and again they can, you can control it the, the exactly the same way you want this also looks pretty pretty neat one thing you want to make sure is the image that you're providing they're not completely flat right so for example in this case the uh, the focus is on the face the rest of the body is blurred out that's why you see a pretty nice uh, uh, depth profile like if it's a flat image you're not going to see much uh, let me try a couple of more examples before we go to the uh, depth map so like here is another one and all of these images are ai generated and actually added a pretty nice animation style uh, because you can see that area in the background it goes way back here's another one and the great thing about this tool is it automatically figures out what thing is closer to the camera. For example, in this case, the sunflower and the hand compared to what's uh, far behind. Um, so that's, that's pretty neat, even with the default settings. Okay, so let me upload uh, this image and let's change the depth information. So for that, we will have to go to the depth map. So this is the depth map, a whitish area uh, is basically closer to the camera and if it's uh, the more uh, darker it gets the far away it is from the camera remember the white means near the screen and the black is far away now let's first go over this preview so if you click on it uh, once it simply shows you the original image then here's the depth map and if you click it on it again that's the depth map overlaid over the original image so first look at this uh, uh, depth. Now, as we said, the white means you're closer to the screen. Black means you are far away, right? So if, if you want to make changes, you can use this slider. Like if you want to make something far away, right? So that you can use this slider to control uh, the depth information. And then the second is the size, which controls the uh, simply the size of your brush. So let's say to make it very really dramatic, let's say we want to make the head far back compared to the rest of the body. So you should initially, uh, initially, let's say what the level it is at, right? So the, you see, like when I clicked, uh, it brought the slider here, it means it's near to the screen. 
but just for fun we want to take the head back let's say i want to take it far back right and then i can use my uh brush so i highlighted the uh head and if you click preview you see it's actually moved back that's why you see the mo movement of the head it looks weird but that's that's how you do it now let's look at a more practical example let's say uh we want to bring this rock much closer so for example they are almost the same level as the uh our character what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring it all the way near and then simply highlight this area with the hope that it's going to really pop it up right and then you can control the uh, hardness and softness of your brush well, let's see what happens and you see you might see the subtle effect that it kind of popped it up uh, brought it closer to the uh, screen you can also actually use this picket tool so let's say uh, this file is way behind but there is this little file here which is closer to the tree on the same level so I can use the picker to basically pick that and then uh, use my brush to try it All right so let's let's see what the effect is going to be uh, let's preview yeah so I think it, it, it uh, sent it back once you're happy with your uh, depth map uh, you can just save that and that will bring you to uh, your original editor where you can again control the movements or like this, change the style the animation and so on and so forth now if you want to share this with a few people you can come here to share okay let's look at another example of depth map so here uh, there's a pretty uniform distribution i would say so let's go to preview okay we can add some dramatic camera effects i think so let's make uh this house and the tree really pop up so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to uh near right and simply highlight the house and let's see what happens so that's let's let's first look at the uh, just the floor so you see uh, the floor is actually a lot closer to the screen now uh, let's apply the same effect i'm not really being careful but um if you want you can like use a smaller brush size and be a lot careful with this so let's preview this okay it's actually coming out <laughs> all right let's see uh maybe uh, i will select the trees as well hey okay. and i will just leave the stairs let's see what happens yay okay there's uh some deformation so let's uh, highlight the trees as well and we're keeping this at the same level so i think it's pretty neat okay yeah it kind of pops out uh from the um glass ball let's see i want to take this back okay let's preview this yeah probably not a great change so you can undo that all right so using this you can actually create different effects uh i think it's pretty cool uh just play around with it now if you want to share it just click on share and then it gives you uh different options in which format you want to share for example you can create a gif mp4 and the live feed uh format light feed format uh, or the depth map so i'm going to just store it as an mp4 file i hope you liked the video and found it useful if you did please consider subscribing thanks for watching uh see you in the next one